I will come today and let you guys know why. Me and Mary J, we don't, we don't like each other. She might want to mess with me, but I don't mess with her. This is my background music, cause I don't want to get copyrighted. So I made my own shit to this beat, kind of laying low key, but join the team. Subscribe, subscribe. What is up guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my channel, I'm Deja. Hello, I know you see me in this get up before, but listen here. This is like the second story time I feel in today. I didn't want to change. Most of you superiors like change their shirts or whatever. I'm not going to be that extra, okay? Listen, this is why I say I like to get lit, but I get lit off of, you know, energy vibes and a little bit of this and that sometimes. I do not get lit. Like lit up, okay? I do not get lit up. Because I've tried it before and like... This is, this is the story of why I don't do it. Should I say who I was with? I mean, I guess so. It was this one fine dandy day. Me and DJ decided, hmm, let's get lit up. Um, <laughs> and we were like, all right, let's do it. I'm not really sure where we got the candy from. Um, I really cannot remember, but it, I think it was like a friend of a friend who gave it to us, which is not the smartest thing to do. Um, we shouldn't have did it. <laughs> but you know, if our friend we trust, trust them or whatever, and they be using the candy or get, buying that candy from them, why can't we buy candy from them? Okay, so this story, as I'm explaining, might not make sense because how it happened to me, I was literally blacking out. Like I was fading in and out. Um, I couldn't tell what was reality. Like I couldn't tell what was real or what wasn't. Like if this just happened or that just happened. It was crazy. So I'm gonna just tell you guys how I remember it. I can't really say how I looked to another person because I can't remember if DJ told me what I was on or not. You know, like what type of things I was doing. But look, fast forward after we got our candy, we were at DJ's house. It was late at night. We decided to go outside, sit on the curb, talk or whatever. I remember, you know, we got it lit and popping, and you know, we were sitting there doing this, doing that, doing this, and doing that. DJ decided he was gonna get up after after he puff puff like twice. He was gonna get up and take out the trash. Cause he was like, oh, my mom told me like I had to take out the trash. This man did not come back. Like he did not come back. So I was just outside in my thoughts, forgetting I was actually doing what I was doing. And like, at this point, I guess I got super hot. I was up there, okay? You know, like I was just sitting there and he got back. And it was on like a little left. It was like this much at first. And it was on like this much left. So he like finished it, I guess. I don't know. But I just remember I kept asking him like, why did you take so long? Like, where did you go? Why did you leave me? And then from outside, walking to his front door and getting in his house, I don't remember it. I was outside. And then one moment I was here, the next moment I was there. And he just kept telling me like, you need to calm down. like. What do you want? Do you want water? Do you want some food? And I was just tripping. Like my heart started beating super fast. And you know, when your heart started beating fast, your mind started playing tricks on you. Cause I'm like, I'm not supposed to feel my heart outside of my chest in the van. Like this is not supposed to be happening. And I'm gonna tell you now, it wasn't my first time taking part in this activity. So this, this is completely different from what, what it was like before. So I was like, oh no, like I was laced. Like <laughs> I was like, bro, I think I'm laced. So that was in my mind. Um, just the fact I felt my heart beat that fast. I thought I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. So that was in my mind. Then me trying to tell myself to calm down was making it worse. Um, I just remember we were in his living room and for some reason we ended up in his room and he, had a piece of bread and he tried to feed me the bread but before he handed me the bread he said he googled it that I don't think you're supposed to eat bread like that you know you get cotton mouth and cotton mouth is like your mouth just really dry so he gave me the bread 
and literally you guys I could not like my throat did not exist like I did not have a throat my head was just floating I, I told him I was like bro I don't have a throat like I cannot swallow this like where is it gonna go I was like hanging outside of this man's window at in his room eating the bread and I realized my mouth was so dry I could not like get enough saliva to help me swallow this bread. So I was hanging out his window, just chewing the bread, just spitting it out. And I turned around and told him, I was like, bro, like this is not supposed to be happening. Like, why do I feel like this? And I remember, I just kept feeling like I was in a dream. And I just kept asking him like, am I dreaming? Or like, did you just say this? Did I just do this? And he's like, yes, like you just have to calm down. Like just calm down. This has never happened to me like, I was really, really, really scared. Like to the point where I was telling him, I was like, dude, I'm gonna die. Like I was actually going to die. Like I was like, I'm gonna be the only one in this world to actually open on me. Like <laughs> I was gonna die. So I remember I passed out like three times because I remember I was standing up one time and we were like Googling how to like tone it down. And um, I passed out, like I, I literally passed out and I just remember getting up from off of the floor and he's like, oh my God, are you okay? And then he's like, lay down in the bed. And I asked him like, oh my God, did this just happen? Are you saying this? Like, are you Googling like how, the, like how I can help myself? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, you sure I'm not dreaming? Like I just kept feeling like I was dreaming and my heart was beating just so freaking fast. I was convinced. I was gonna have a heart attack. I was laying down in his bed and I guess he Googled like how to bring it down. They say like go splash water, like cold water on your face or something, relax, drink a lot of water, stuff like this. So he was like, all right, it says go splash water on your face. And at this moment in time, time for me was moving fast, but like slow at the same time, if that makes sense. Cause I remember like, this all happened, like it was hours as this was happening. But like, for me, since I was like blacking out and coming back to it, like it was like happening like this, but it was happening over hours. So I was laying in his bed and he was like, yeah, Google it. So then after he tells me all this, I think I like blacked out again because I asked him, I was like, wait a minute, did you just Google like how to do it? Like, are, am I dreaming? Like, am I awake right now? And he's like, no, yes, like I Googled it. This is what you have to go do. Like go splash water on your face. So I was like, all right. This is the point in the video to why I will never do that again. That is not for me. If it's for you, good for you. Um, you know, like I have friends, family who do it. I'm not against it. It's just not for me. Like it is not for me. I'm too paranoid as a person already. And this happening to me just made me even more paranoid. So now... I feel like if I were to do it, I would just think like, oh no, like I'm going to die this time. Like I remember this happening. It's going to happen now. Like it's just going to make it worse. Okay. So back to what I was saying, cause I'm getting off track. So I get up, I walk to his bathroom, his bath in his mom's house. The bathroom to his room is not that far. Okay. It's like 10 steps at the most. So I get up from his room. I go to the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom, splashing water on my face, y'all. There's a mirror above his sink. I'm splashing water on my face. I look up into the mirror and I see myself splashing water on my face. So when I look in the mirror, picture, picture the fuck out of this. I'm like this. I look up and in the mirror, I see myself doing this. I flipped out. <laughs> I'm just like, no, that's not how a mirror is supposed to work. Why am I seeing myself splash water on my face? So I really got super scared and I just turned around real fast. And when I turned around, y'all, the whole wall was black, okay? Like there was no door, there was no way to get out or leave. Like I was trapped in this man's bathroom. The whole wall was just black. I sat on the floor like this and to myself, I was like, Lord, if you gonna take me, take me now. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like I won't do this ever again. I was so freaking scared. I don't know how long 
I stayed in the bathroom. I don't know how long it took my mind to realize like you just tripping like this ain't real. But some way I was out of the bathroom and I was walking down the hallway and it was nighttime like the lights were off. But I was walking down the hallway and you know we had his TV on in his room. So that was like the light I seen. The hallway start elongating. As I was walking like it took forever to get back to this man's room and all I seen is like this little box of light at the end of this long ass hallway that was the light from his TV. And I just could not get to it. And I was like, bro, I'm laced. Like, <laughs> they laced me. Somebody's trying to kill me. Like, I didn't know what was going on, you guys. Like, I like blacked out again. And I ended up back in DJ's room. And I was telling him like, bro, I need to go to the hospital. Like, they need to do something. They need to take this away. They need to cool it down. I'm about to go wake up your mom and go to the hospital. He's like, bro, why, like, why would you go wake up my mom? Like, we're not supposed to be doing this. Like, we both gonna get in trouble. And at this point, I'm like, I don't care. Like, I need to go to the hospital or I'm literally going to die. Okay, like, you want me to die or do you want to get in trouble? I will take getting in trouble for 10. And he's like, you just need to lay down, go to sleep. And I just kept asking him like, why would you just leave me outside? And he was like, I didn't leave you. I was there too. And I'm like, oh no, nah, bro. Like, were you really there? Or was I like spaced out? And I feel like he wasn't there. <laughs> so I was laying in his bed and he was like, you just need to relax and go to sleep. He was like, you just need to go to sleep. If you go to sleep, it will all go away. So I'm like, all right, let me go to sleep. I'm laying there. If you're just sitting in one spot, like it gets worse. Like my whole body was heavy. I felt like I was sinking into his bed. Like I was just laying there like, bro, like this is not, like I have to get up and move around or I feel like I'm dying. And so I was just really scared of the fact like my heart shouldn't be beating this fast so I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna die. Like I can't grasp onto what is reality and what's not. So that just, like I was terrible. I don't, I did not like that feeling and like I would never do it again because I do not like that. Like I did not like it. It scared the living hell out of me. I am trying to lay in this man's bed and get to the point of falling asleep. Um, and I just remember telling him like, is your heart beating fast? Like he was like, yes, but I'm like chilling. He was like, relax. And I'm like, I'm trying, I can't. I was like, please put your hand over my chest. So he was like, cuddled up with me, like putting his hand on my chest. I was like, do you feel my heart? He was like, yes. Just trying to breathe and relax. He was like, you're okay. Like it's not beating that fast. I'm like, mm, you a lie. Like this is like <laughs> out of my chest though. Like I can feel my heart like doo -doo 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 -doo. it was scary. So and I remember telling him, <laughs> cause he was telling me like, just Deja, go to sleep. And I remember telling him, I was like, dude, if I close my eyes and go to sleep, I'm dead. I was like, I know for a fact if I go to sleep, I'm dying. Like, I knew if I close my eyes and try to go to sleep, I will wake up in heaven. And I told him that I was like, bro, if I go to sleep, I'm not waking up. Like, you would never see me again. I will wake up in heaven. Like, I'm dead. I am dying. He was like, bro, just relax. Try to go to sleep. So I'm laying there, you know, trying to go to sleep or whatever. And I, I somehow I did fall asleep. And the next morning, I woke up high. <laughs> like I literally woke up still high but the high that I woke up with in the morning was like one I was used to you know like oh I felt this before that's what I was trying to feel but I got too up there I was too lit I was up here when I wanted to be right here and in the morning I woke up like right here you know um so yeah that's the story on why I personally don't do it <laughs> I, I don't think I will ever do it. Um, you know, people have tried to peer pressure me. Um, but you know, you just gotta stand your ground and I ain't, I ain't about that life, I ain't about it. It's not for everyone, I'm a part of everyone. Like everyone is me, I'm everyone, it's not for me. But yeah, if you have a story like this, comment down below if it's ever happened to you. Let me know, like, do you still do it after the fact or did it scare you how it scared me? Because for me, I stick to drinking <laughs> that's my goat so that's the story time on how i almost died <laughs> i don't know if i was actually laced or if i actually like 
I guess they call it like greened out. Um, like that's just when you get super, super, super lit. I don't know if I was super lit or if I was actually super laced. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts that are down below. And on that note, bye guys. Bye.